One day, one day soon perhaps, one day I'll tear off the anchor that keeps my ship far away from the seas. With a type of courage that's needed to be nothing and nothing, I'll let go of what seemed to have been indissolubly close to me. I'll cut it down, flip it over, I'll break it, I'll make it a tumble. All at once, throwing up my wretched sense of decency, my wretched and ponderous ways of thinking. After I've cleaned out the abscess of being someone, I'll drink again of the nourishing space. The tranquil moonlight, beautiful and sad, sets the birds among the dark branches dreaming, while enraptured sob the waterfalls, great fountains against the marble gleaming. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know hyenas could cry. I have this problem with my hair. <laughs> Seems the only acceptable style for a girl coming of age is curled, pinned, and sprayed. I like it the way it is. Did you? It's such a nuisance, all this fuss and bother about beauty. My mother expects me to act as if I'm on display. She gives balls and parties just to show myself off. Tonight is my coming-of-age gala. But I hate affairs like those, especially if they're given in my honor. I'd much rather be here with you. You're lucky. I'd be glad to go. This zoo is far less glamorous. I don't know how to dance, but I can make conversation anyway. You certainly can. I felt a certain attraction when I read my poetry to you. I returned much earlier today so that we could feel free to be ourselves. I don't get along well with girls my age. But you're different. Read me some of that poetry by that woman who stuck her head in the oven. You know, Sylvia. If you like, but it's rather depressing. Does it have any clothes in it? Tell me something pretty. Don't you think the idea of killing yourself is attractive? Maybe, if you're just pretending with lipstick. But of course, I don't have any. I didn't know you could read. I get the sound tapes. <laughs> How long have you been in the zoo? Six years. And how old are you? Seven. And where did you come from? Africa. And what about your family? Where are they? Uh, we don't keep in touch. I can't write letters. Sometimes that's better. My parents, they try to control everything about my life. My friends, parties, education. I want to join the Peace Corps. What for? I want to help starving children in the world. They should feed me some. If I join the Peace Corps, I might make a difference. Mm, I ate some Peace Corps workers once, and they tasted sour. You need to have a goal. I do have a goal. Breakfast. When all the people come to the zoo, they look so shiny and glowing like they're ready for a barbecue. A debutante's ball sounds fun. You should go in my place. Mm, we don't look enough alike. Otherwise, I'd go all right. Well, listen, in the evening lights, nobody can see very well. And if I dressed you up a bit, and amongst all those people, nobody would know. And we're almost the same height. Oh, you're my only friend. I beg of you. Consider it done. Lockwood Avenue, please.
here's the dress I was going to wear tonight. It may be a little long. Ah. Now try on these heels. Here, now these. <laughs> now, now the other one. Tonight you'll take a bath scented with my new salt. Starving children don't get to bathe. Starving children? What starving children? You don't see any starving children in our neighborhood. I think it's a rumor. Don't be late to breakfast. Now, I wonder how we can disguise your face. Uh, maybe a veil or... Oh, here, try on this hat. I don't think it's my size. Then let me make you a mask. But this isn't a costume affair. <laughs> I've been through my entire closet and bureau, and there doesn't seem to be anything you like. I must go down to breakfast. You keep looking, and I'll return within the hour. suits you? I think I have a solution. Do you have a maid? Yes. Well, you ring for the maid, and then when she comes in, we'll pounce on her and tear her face off. <laughs> and then I'll take her face and use it as my own this evening. That's not sensible. She'd probably be dead if you ripped her face off. Somebody would find the body and we'd both go to prison. I'm hungry enough to eat her. Well, what about the bones? Them too. So, do you agree? Only if you agree to kill her first before you rip her face off. Otherwise, it would hurt too much. Right. It doesn't make any difference to me. If only I didn't hate balls so much. Okay, I'll ring for the maid. <coughs> are still left, but if you have a bag, I'll save them for later. In the closet, you'll find a faux reptile bag. Take the scarves out of it and use that one. Now look how beautiful I am. I have carefully eaten around the face so that just what is needed is left. Indeed. You've done a good job of it, too. I feel in fine form. I've the impression I'm going to be a big success this evening. Now let's practice your dancing. Ready? One, two, three. Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Well, um, okay. Go on. Now remember, don't stand next to my mother. She'd know it wasn't me in a minute. Apart from her, I don't know anybody. Good luck. to eat. When that thing in your place gets up and cries, I smell a bit strong, eh? Well, I don't eat cake. Then she tore off her face and ate it. With one big bound, she disappeared through the door. <laughs> if you take away the smell, what's left? My dear girl... The worst kind of animals are hairy on the inside. That's... 